Let's recap the exponent rule for multiplication. First, we remind ourselves where it comes from. If you've got b cubed multiplied by b squared, if we just write out what b cubed means, it means b times b times b. What does b squared mean? It means b times b. What does that come to all together? Well, you see you've now got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 b's all multiplied together, so you've got b to the 5. And so the rule is very easy to see alongside this, right? What you're seeing is when you've got b cubed multiplied by b squared, when you write it out like this, you'll see that you've got three b's here multiplied together, and then they're multiplied by a further two, so you get b to the three plus two, which is five. So we can summarize that as follows. If we've got x to the power of p and we multiply it by x to the power of q, the rule says that we will have x to the p plus q. And again, easy to picture. This is p, x is all multiplied together. This is q, x is all multiplied together. So in total, we've got p plus q, x is multiplied together. Let's have a look at how we'd apply this in an example. When we, if we needed to do a calculation like this, we start by looking at each bit in turn. Let's start with the coefficients and multiply them together. We've got negative 3 multiplied by 2. That gives us negative 6. We then move on to our a's. So here we've got a to the 4 multiplied by a to the 3. And so we've got a to the 4 plus 3 just using our exponent law. And then we move on after that to our b's. And in this case, we've got a, a b sitting over here, which has got no exponent. But we know that that just means it's b to the power of 1. So we can apply the exponent rule here, and we'll get b to the 1 plus 5. And now we can just finish up here, saying it's negative 6, a to the 7, b to the 6.